for device registration in entra id you need to ensure the configuration of uh, the entra id for device settings is configured in a way that users can register the devices users may register their devices with microsoft entra and that setting is turned on for all the users and uh, the option is grayed out this makes sure that uh, users can register their Android, iOS or Windows devices with Entra ID so that these devices can access the cloud applications and resources. Now to register a device with Entra ID, I'm signing in to a client machine, which is a workgroup machine. And uh, on this machine, I will do the device registration by going to the start settings app under the settings app on left we have accounts blade where on the right side at the bottom we have access work or school account option where we, we can add the work or school account there I will provide my work account to register this device so this is my company ID or organization ID I am not going with the other options like joining to the entra ID or ADDS that we have covered in the previous demo on Entra ID join. This is registration, especially for the bring your own devices. Here I provide the credentials for this work or school account. And this device will be registered with Entra ID within few seconds. And uh, you will need not to in fact restart this machine to see this and within few seconds you will see the device appeared in the entra portal as well here if you go to the accounts your work or school accounts you will see that this user account Joni has this device associated this is the work account that has been added and uh, if I show you the configuration of it by going to the PowerShell that this device is workplace registered or workplace join so I will launch the PowerShell and run it as administrator and this consent on user account control prompt and I increase the font size a little bit to show you you will run the command to see the status of this device that what the status of this is with DS rag CMD slash status and with this command, you will notice that the device name is Seattle Workstation 1. And uh, it's not Azure AD join, but the user state you will notice is workplace joined. That's set to yes, which means the device is registered to your workplace. This is the workplace device ID, a unique ID for this device, device certificate, validity, and the workplace thumbprint, and many other attributes like the key provider, the TPM protected or not, workplace tenant name is Contoso. These attributes you can validate. And uh, if I show you this device in the Entra portal, so this should appear there as well. I'm logging into a different server. And on the server where I had that Entra portal opened, Seattle client 2 was there earlier, which was hybrid join I did in the previous demo this time this is the Seattle workstation one and it is Microsoft Entra registered by Joni so this is uh, how we can register the device to the Entra ID after this I will go back and show you how I can disconnect this device from the Entra ID the process will remain same I need to go to the settings app and click on my work account and uh, click on disconnect here so disconnect this account is the option you can see the related links like manager account so are you sure you want to remove this account this will remove your access to resources like the emails apps network the cloud application resources that you had the access to and i provide my consent that yes i want to disconnect it you will notice that there will not be any reboot required to process this disconnect from the workplace join I will repeat this command to see the status of this device 
and uh, there this time you will see this workplace join under the user state is set to no this means the device is deregistered i hope this tutorial was informative thanks for watching